Hey guys, Juan Terry Bricks here, back with another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the 2020 AAT. It comes with a Ahsoka Trooper here, Ahsoka, and two Kashyyyk Battle Droids. Very cool. Alright, let's get into the figs. If we get into the figs alone, you can see the Kashyyyk Battle Droid has a light gray or dark gray. I'm not sure, it's just not, or not green, or not gray, sorry. Dark green, I believe that is, or um, like camo. I'm not sure what exact color it's called, but it's a very cool droid, and then you can see as for the body, and then it has regular tan droid arms and tan droid legs. Then you can see it is molded for the head tan, but it has the um, dark green down here with like the camo print at the bottom, a camo print stripe r around here, and like a circle oval shape on the top of the head near the eyes over here a little bit above the eyes pretty much above the eyes like back of the head i guess or well that would be the back of the head of the droid but that would be like the top of the head i guess and then he comes with a gunmetal gray blaster pretty cool here that's the what the lego color is called gunmetal gray right there pretty cool i'm not sure what that blaster's like official tag is on lego like the official number I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a pretty cool blaster. It comes on a lot of stuff. And those two droids are identical, so we don't need to look at the other one. And then if we take a look at the Ahsoka here, you can see that she has some very cool prints. First, we could take a look at her lightsabers. They unfortunately aren't shorter, like in the show. Uh, show that I'm talking about is the Clone Wars or Rebels, she's in Rebels a couple of episodes, but you can see it's two generic lightsaber hilts with two generic blue lightsaber blades, or sabers right there, and then you can see she has some cool leg printing with some silver stripes there and some dark blue, like, robes hanging down, or, um, Mandal or not Mandalorian outfit, but, like, robes hanging down, that's pretty cool, and then some knee plates right there, unfortunately, no, um, foot printing though and she has some back printing there but we'll first take a look at the torso printing right there you could see like the mandalorian insignia right there i'm not sure why that's on her torso here we could take off the lekus for a second and take a look at the torso there you could see it's like how the mandalorian are where they have like the diamond in the middle of their chest i'm not sure what that is but you can see the chest plate there pretty cool and then the there's some hip printing as well. You can see like some robes hanging down with some stripes and folds in the robes as well with the belt in the middle there. Pretty cool. And then a necklace at the top there. And then you can see it is orange arms with light gray hands on both sides. And then if we take a look at the back printing, you can see the um, belt coming around here. Or not belt, but the folds in the robes coming down to the back as well and then you can see the back plate there it's pretty cool now we could take a look at the head unfortunately oh there is an alternate head i did not see that you could see ahsoka there is smiling with the marks of the um kind she is i'm not sure what the exact um species she is but i can look that up um in a second once i'm done verifying or looking at the lekus here and the head and then you can see she's angrier with some blue eyes it's very cool angrier on the alternate face than on the other alternate face you can see here the mandalorian like thingy that they gave her to communicate with them i'm not sure what, sure what it's called like a calm or something i'm not certain what it's called but i think that's pretty close to what it's called and then you could see here some just a bunch of blue stripes and blue molds on this it's very cool it's molded white with blue printing on it it's very very cool mine is in almost perfect condition the lekus the end of the lekus are not worn off on a lot of people's used versions the ends of the lekus are, lekus are worn off lekus are the head tails or whatever you want to call it that they actually store memories so usually the lekus are worn off at the bottom and show white end as well as that one and on the top two as well so there's five lekus in all, or head tails. But now we can take a look at the um, Ahsoka Trooper, which will be very cool to look at. All right, let's get into that one right now. This one is very cool. It comes with a regular um, Star Wars gun that comes on there, but this one is black instead of gunmetal, like on the droids. You can see the leg printing here with the knee plates there. 
the hip has no print unfortunately you can see the toe print very cool um front torso printing here just like a regular 501st um torso very cool with the belt at the bottom pretty cool with the blue printing very cool sorry that i'm saying very cool so much it is nice that there's blue printing though that is a plus and then you can see here on the back the black plate there with the belt coming back around to the back and then you can see on the helmet this is what makes this figure special or actually we can take a look at the head first you can see it's the just the generic clone head pretty cool accurate and then the helmet is what makes this special because there is a new battle pack coming out this year is 2023 so there's a new battle pack coming out i don't know what time you're watching this but there's a new battle pack coming out right now um it is the 330 or ahsoka trooper battle pack and it has the helmet holes and this one does not so this one is a lot more expensive but you can see here it's a very cool print it's just like ahsoka with some cool like printed head tails almost but it's it's still amazing like the top of ahsoka's head you can see the printing there it's translated there and then the rest of the helmet is very cool with the orange instead of usual um white for the regular phase two clone and it has white arms with black hands it's pretty cool then you can see the blue mouth marks there i'm not sure why that's on all the clones i think there's it's like communications or something and then there's like the comm right there for um people to communicate through the clones like that it's pretty cool and now we can look at the actual AAT build. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna try to make this review quicker so that you guys don't have to be watching this all day and so that people, some people are super busy so they don't have to watch this twice or go back. But a couple of the play features, I'm actually gonna have to lift up the tripod for a second so that we can see all the play features here. So the top of the AAT swivels 360, it's very cool. There's some antennas on the top here, it's very cool. And then the gun can actually swivel up and to the side. So it can go wherever you want. It could go up here, it could go there, but it cannot go all the way back. It only goes up like about halfway there. So it doesn't do a full 360, but it does like a 45 degree or sorry, 90 degree um, turn upright. Probably a little bit more because it goes like that angle, but it's very cool nonetheless. And then on the top here, I'm actually going to have to lift up my phone so you guys can see inside but inside the cockpit at the top here you can see sorry that it's a little dusty um you can see that you can fit a droid in here i will actually fit a droid in here in a second to show you guys um that it can actually fit but it can't fit comfortably so you have to like fold it up and then on the side here the guns can swivel up and down unfortunately not back uh not they can swivel uh, up and down, but not side to side, unfortunately. And then on this side, it's the same deal. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, this one is coming off a little bit. I'm gonna fix this, there we go. Now we can take a look at the front where you can see some spring-loaded shooters. We'll take a look at that in a second. Actually, yeah, we'll take a look at this in, right now, actually. You can see that there's a little bit of a Technic um, brick right there sticking up on both sides. I think that's what releases the spring-loaded shooters. Yep, it is. <laughs> that's very cool. I forgot about that. You can actually look at the bottom to see how that works. So you press on that brick right there. It's hard to do with only two hands. <laughs> um, so I propped it up, but you can, you can push that down and this pushes the end so that it hits down and fires. So now we can take a look at the second cockpit here. Very cool, has some printed plates in there. Those are not stickers, if you can see. And then another droid can fit in here with the guns on the sides. It's very, very cool. All right, now I'm gonna fit the droids in so that you guys can see it all together and in the same place. Okay, now that I have the droids in the set, you can see in here under this cockpit, actually you have to lift up the cannon to open this one because it won't work without you lifting it up. But you can see I fit the one droid in there with the two guns and then if i flip both of these down you can see in the top here that i fit one droid in there it's very snug you cannot lift the head up because it will crush it down 
uh, this part will, but you can't put it down if you don't do that. So, unfortunately, it doesn't fit perfect, but it's okay. Um, now we can go to the outro. All right, guys, everything's here together. You can see everything. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you if I think it's worth it and if I would buy it right now for more expensive than I bought it for. So I found this set at a Kohl's for $20. Um, so I did that deal, or I had Kohl's cash, so I used part of that. It was $40 and then I got it down to 20 using Kohl's cash. So no, no sport sponsor or promotion, unfortunately. But um, I did get that for $20, which I think was a great deal because now this figure alone is like $30 or something like that, 25, something around there. This Ahsoka isn't too much, maybe like five or something. And then these are like three dollars each, which is a great deal. That's like pays pays for the set alone, even at the time. So it was retired when I bought it, which I'm glad that I found it because I would have had to buy it for a lot more expensive than I did. But I'm very happy that I did buy it, and I would definitely suggest it. It's like it was forty dollars retail, which is a lot, knowing that you're only getting four, you're getting four figures and a pretty big build. But it was only a couple. Pe the build isn't that many pieces unfortunately but it's okay it still has a bunch of play features like let's count the play features like the cannon counts as one the two cockpits count as one each so that's three already with the stud shooters that's four in one build that's a lot so now um i'm gonna give this set a rating so i rate this set a good 8.5 it's a great set and i got a great deal on it but if i were to buy it for 40 i probably would not buy it for 40 right now or i would buy it for 40 now but i wouldn't have bought it for 40 um in 2020 when um it was retail with the 501st battle pack so because i got three of the 501st battle pack and couldn't buy one of these or i was thinking about getting one instead of getting a third 501st battle pack and i ended up getting the 501st battle pack so um i'm glad that i did get this set but I definitely suggest the set, and thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.